Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. David McGowan is with the Insurance Bureau of Canada. He says the insured and economic costs of severe weather tied to climate change are billions of dollars. In the 1980s, Canadian insurers were paying out approximately $400 million a year in climate-related costs. Those are insured costs for the physical damage associated with snow and hail and wind and flood. And over the past 10 years, that $400 million number has risen on average to $1 billion a year. That's a 250% increase in payouts in just 10 years. If you thought that was bad, it turns out this year, 2018, is already a record year for payouts. And just to the end of October so far in 2018, it's not $1 billion, but almost $1.8 billion that insurers have paid to homeowners and businesses and others to cover the costs of severe weather that's actually tied to climate change. And it's affecting the entire planet. Global weather-related insured damages have rocketed from roughly $10 billion a year to $60 billion since the 1980s. Uninsured costs to the economy are rising just as fast. Over a 12-month period, the federal disaster assistance dollars that Congress had to approve as a result of hurricanes Irma and Harvey, again, that hit Puerto Rico and the southern U.S., was, again, in the order of magnitude of $140 billion, or roughly 10% of the total U.S. deficit for that year. So what have been the most costly events in Canada? The most expensive natural insured disaster in Canada were the wildfires in Fort McMurray at about $3.7 billion. If you cast your mind back a little bit in time, the ice storms that affected eastern Canada, Ontario and Quebec, in the late 90s, was a little bit more than a $2 billion event. The floods in southern Alberta in 2013, again, about a $1.7 billion event. McGowan says Alberta's experienced seven of the top 10 costliest disasters in Canada. As Canadians face significantly increasing risks associated with severe weather, Canadians do need governments to invest in infrastructure and and other measures of adaptation. In a now famous speech to Lloyds of London, Bank of England Governor Mark Carney talked about the economic costs of climate change and said the problem is governments have little incentive to invest in solutions now. But climate change is a tragedy of the horizon. We don't need an army of actuaries to tell us that the catastrophic impacts of climate change will be felt beyond the traditional horizons of most actors. It will impose costs on future generations that the current one has little direct incentive to fix. Some governments are starting to invest in storm sewer upgrades and flood prevention infrastructure. That's called adaptation in climate change circles. But what about mitigation or action to prevent climate change? So proposals, whether they're regulatory or fiscal, that change business or consumer demand for carbon would be a mitigating investment. David McGowan says insurers believe the quickest return on investment is investing in adaptation measures. Learn more about the skyrocketing insurance payouts due to severe weather in our blog at greenenergyfutures.ca. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.